Hello guys and welcome back to uh, another Let's Play uh, Broken Sword with me, Ellis Jason. Uh, on the last episode, uh, we got we got some information about where this uh, where the clown might be staying. Um, and it's this hotel here. So let's see what happens. Let's talk to the gangsters. They might know something. Excuse me? Yes? I'm looking for a uh, Khan. Do you know a man by the name of Khan? No, I don't. It's very important I get to see him, and I told you, I don't know it. All right. I'm looking for a clown. Are you trying to be funny? No, I really am looking for a clown. There are no clowns here except you. It's a little bit like Mario. Mario t Mario's turn to uh, being a gangster. Have you heard of a guy called Plantar? No. That name means nothing to me. It means nothing. I'm going to find a Luigi. Okay. Let's uh, show you a picture of who we're Do you recognize the guy in this photograph? No. I never saw him. Hmm. I want to use the buzzer. Yeah. Will you shake my hand? Are you joking? Who knows where it has been? Okay. What does this tissue mean to you? Are you serious? Oh, yes. Take a good look at the substance it's smeared with. You are sick. Hmm. Very sick. Sick. Very sick. How about the nose? Have you ever seen this clown's nose before? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Forget it. How about you? Excuse me? Yeah? Well, look at the Khan. Do you happen to know a guy named Khan? That ain't nobody I know. I'm sorry to be a burden on your brain. <laughs> How about Khan? Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? No, I ain't. Don't tell me I missed him. Oh, that's too bad. I love the clowns, don't you? I've seen daytime television that was funnier. I love it when the little guys get hurt. That figures. Custard pies, hose pipe down the pants, then smack! A plank in the kisser. Oh, okay. Well, about Have you ever seen this clown's nose before? Nope. Nobody's... Do you recognize the guy in this photograph? Is this a trick question? No. I simply asked if you recognized him. Okay then. No, nope, I don't. Hmm. A... Shake my hand. Ah. Hmm. Oh, rats. You ever meet a guy called Plantow? No, I ain't. You missed your chance. If you're quick, you'll catch him at the coroner's. Uh, okay. See you later. Not if you see me first. Check out this sign. What's this sign say? No. Oh, okay. The sign listed the price of rooms, and boy, were they expensive. Hmm. The killer must have been earning a fat wad to pay for accommodation like this. Shove up for the window. Shove up the window. The lobby was quiet, almost deserted. Okay. Up the alleyway. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything down this alleyway. No, that's just a hand to go back. No, nothing. Okay, let's go back then. Let's check inside the hotel. Do, 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 do. Talk to the lady playing the piano. Hi there, ma'am. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. You disappoint me, my dear. <laughs> for one foolish moment, I thought. But never mind. 
Aren't you going to tell me your name? George. George Stobart, ma'am. How sweet! I once had a stable boy called George. I am Lady Piermont. The common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not obligatory. A real lady? I mean, you're an honest-to-God aristocrat? Oh, I don't know about that. Few of my ancestors are honest, not even to God. I can trace my family back to the Normans, but don't let that intimidate you, George. Beneath that impressive pedigree, I'm just flesh and blood. The blood may be blue, but the flesh is the plump beef of old England, so to speak. You appear distracted, George. Is there any way I can help you? Uh, looking for Karen. I'm looking for a murderer. Good heavens! You're a private detective. That's correct, ma'am. What's the term you Americans use? It's on the tip of my tongue. I believe what you're thinking of is Dick. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, so, sure picture. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? My God, it's him. That's Merlin. She represented everything I loved about the English. The lady was totally deranged. Merlin? You mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no! Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. Uh, okay. Wonder if this guy. The man you know as Merlin is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. I am shocked, Mr. Stobart. Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman, a man of honor. Do you know, I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. Hmm. Okay, what do you know about the guys outside? I'm guessing I'm Did you know there's a gangster out front? What makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket? I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. That doesn't necessarily make them gangsters. Are you here in Paris on vacation? No, darling, I'm on holiday. I needed to get away after Algie's funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not. He was my husband. Jokes. Uh, okay. Uh, more about Karen. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Hmm. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantow's briefcase. I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. A wild romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton chef. I must say I was disappointed with his cock van. Not at all what I was expecting. I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to Hemel Hempstead. That was until last night. Hmm, what happened last night? What happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has cleft my bosom. They couldn't really miss. <laughs> it was just as I'd always imagined it should be. The intimacy of candlelight. Romantic music tinkling across the room. And then, a stranger's glance. Those brooding eyes, that suave manner, those... Tight trousers. 
He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. I'm glad he finally turned up after all these years. Ah, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affections. And if I ever catch up with him, he's dead. Okay. Maybe that's what happened to your husband. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? If I could get in there, I would. Hmm, okay. So... I have to go, ma'am. Let's have a little wander over here. Very nice, very nice bit of hotel. Okay. Talk to this guy first before we talk to him. Who's this guy? Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Yes, that is me, in person. I don't want to worry you, but have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Do you know Plantow? Do you know a guy called Plantow? I don't know anybody in Paris. Oh, well, this guy's dead anyhow. Why do you ask me about dead men? I have seen enough of death to last me a lifetime. I'm, uh, sure you have. Uh, have you seen a clown? Maybe? Have you seen a clown? I beg your pardon? The clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My pants are from England. Marx and Spencer. They are a pleasure and a comfort to wear with much support. I'm real glad to hear that. You know, it's good to know you Nobel Prize winners are human too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg cartoons. For pants? For everything. Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. Uh, okay. Show him the picture. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Yes, I know this man. Why do you carry his photograph? I'm a private detective. Okay, what do you know? What's your interest in Khan? He is an enemy of my people. You know he's a killer? Of course, amongst other things. Oh, Would you help me investigate Khan? That is not possible. My instructions are to observe. I cannot jeopardize my position as an honored guest of this country's government. Ooh, is he like a sp Bye. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Okay. Mm, he's going to talk to you. We need to get a key lock. Excuse me, monsieur. What's me? What? You are trying to steal that key. Nah. No. No way. Okay, let's talk to them. Need that key. I want some information. Who are you? The police? I'm conducting a private investigation. Ah, I know only too well what you mean. That is one of the drawbacks of the catering business. When people book into an hotel, they leave their morals at home, no? Safe. I'd like to retrieve something from your safe. Ah, oui, monsieur. May I see some form of identification? Uh, like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport? I don't have it with me. I could show you my operation, Scar. I'm sorry, monsieur. I must have some form of unique ID. You won't find a more unique ID than my Scar. I'm sorry. I must insist on a more traditional identification. Rats. Key. I want the key. About the key hanging on the hook over there. We, oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? 
number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. Hmm. Come back to that. We'll talk about the I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. This is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. If you say so. Plantard, do you know, do you know a man named Plantard? No, monsieur. Hmm. I don't want to show him that. Because if he was. If he's taking out bribes, he might. Say something to Karen. So we'll take. I'd like to check into room 21. That is not possible. How come? You said it was vacant. It is reserved for another guest. Rats. Hmm. No, monsieur. Dutch. Thanks for your help, buddy. Let's go upstairs anyway. Let's investigate upstairs. We might be able to find some of that. The door was locked. Hmm. The door was locked. Is it just these three rooms? Yeah. The door was locked. And the last one. The door was locked. Okay. And there's nothing. Nothing else. No. Okay, back downstairs. Boom, boom, boom. So. Talk to the woman again. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Give me the key. Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? Oh, no. It's the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. Scouts on up? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? It's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape. Now Anything? tell me, why do you want to get into that room? I'm hoping it's the key to Merlin's room. Well, how can I refuse? I shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case. But a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. I say, you there, flunky. We, oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madame. Over to you, my dear. Joink. <laughs> and on the keys. Quick, let's get upstairs. Ooh, I'm sorry about that. A little bit of a sneezy. Okay. The door was locked. The door was locked. Does it say the numbers? I don't know. Hang on. What the hell? View. The sign on the door read Ooh. 21. 21. Is that that one? She was that one then. Uh, maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. Okay. We're in the room. Let's have a little quick look around. Window. Let's check the cupboard.
hood wardrobe thing. There was nothing in the wardrobe apart from a vague, lingering smell of camphor. Okay. Nothing of interest then. Let's have a look at the bedside cabinet. Might, might find something. The cabinet was empty, but it smelt of onions. No kidding, it really did. Okay. The window. Shit window. Do we go out? Maybe. I think. I think we will have to save it here. And uh, comments below whether or not I should go out the window. Oh, no, 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 cancel that one. A couple of wrong buttons there. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. And this is the end of episode five, I think. So hopefully, see you next time. And let me know whether I should jump out the window. Uh, I'm guessing I can crawl across the ledge or something, I don't know. But let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more. Bye bye guys, bye bye.